Cassie, what are you doing back there? Just getting my book. Well, get back in your seat where you belong and put your seatbelt on. I will. Just as soon as I get my book. No, do it now, honey. X-ray, get both arms and legs upper and lower staff. Nurse Smith, get a move on. Yes, sir. Do you know where you are? Hospital. That's right, you were in an accident. You know who you are? Uh-huh. Good, good. Hey, can you move your feet for me? That's oh, great. How about your hands? Can you move your hands? Thomas Roberts. Yes, my wife is Samantha Roberts. Why? Are you sure? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh my God. spend our lives trying to prevent something like this from happening, to keep her safe from harm. And in just one instant, oh, just an instant. I know. I feel so helpless. But glad you hardly have a scratch. She's gonna be okay. It's gonna take a little time, but she's gonna be okay. Thank God you're all right. Doc, how long is she gonna be like this? Not long. A day, maybe. We have to keep her sedated right now so that she doesn't unconsciously pull out her IVs or oxygen. You'd be surprised how busy even sleeping hands can be. It's for her own safety, and it's not nearly as bad as it looks. We understand. We're just wondering how long. We'll know soon. She's young and strong. She'll recover quickly. Could I speak to you both outside? Of course. He wanted to talk to us? Yes. It's about the transfusion Cassie needs. Neither one of you is a match for her blood type. I thought that might be the case, but I wasn't sure. I see here your daughter's adopted. Yes. Yes, she is. Well, she seems like an otherwise healthy child, and she is type O positive, which is fairly common. So that shouldn't be a problem. I need to get this transfusion set up right away from our in-house resources. So if you'll excuse me. Thank you. Thanks, Doc.
are you doing in here? Oh, I was just checking on the patient before I headed out for the day. She doesn't have anything scheduled until tomorrow. No, I, I know. It's just since I was one of the first techs who treated her when she came in, I just felt, well, you know. Are you all right, nurse? You don't look well. <laughs> yes, it, it's been a long day. I'm just a little tired. You should go home now and rest up. You don't want to make yourself sick. Oh, I know. I'm leaving now. I just need to sign out. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. Why are you torturing yourself like this? I don't know. I'm just so worried. She's so young. And to have something like this happen to her. It's my fault. What if she'd been killed? But she wasn't. Not even close, Sam. It was a blown tire. Could have happened to anyone. Just be glad it wasn't worse than it was. Have you taken your medication? Yes. Well, don't you think you should go lay down? Are you coming? In a bit. Get some rest. Hey, sweetie. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Look who came along to see you. Hi, Cassie. How are you feeling today? Much better, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Look what I have for you. Wow, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's nice that you don't have to share a room with anybody. Oh, none of that for my little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better head back to the office. It's been like a real ghost town around there. I even thought I saw a tumbleweed blow through the other day. All right, all right. <laughs> I felt guilty enough already. Better Healthcare California. Hey, who's in charge around here anyway? Why you, of course. Just saying. Fifty <laughs> percent from yesterday. Oh, excuse me. Yes? Which way out? Follow the hallway behind you. You'll see the signs. Hallway behind me. Got it. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm heading to Central Supply. Okay. So Daddy and I are fixing up the guest room so you get your own bathroom. Good afternoon. Hi. Are you going to be discharged soon? That's what they say. I can't wait. <laughs> well, let's take things easy, huh? Slow and steady wins the race. Besides, I wouldn't want to see you back in here too soon. Me either. <laughs> let's free up a little. Do you need any help? Oh, no, thank you. I can manage. My friend recommended Better Healthcare California for hiring a live-in nurse for my daughter. She's coming home from the hospital in a few days. <laughs> I'm sure we can help you. How old is your daughter? She's 10 years old. She fractured her leg and her collarbone. Mm, I see. Well, we do have someone available who has had experience with that. Her name is Rebecca Taylor. Would you like to meet her? Rebecca Taylor? I would love to. Uh, could she come by the house tomorrow morning, say, 11 a.m.? I don't think that's a problem. What's your address? 17442 Candace Street, Redvine. Got it. I'll call her now to confirm. Thank you. I'm looking forward to meeting her. Rebecca Taylor at 11 a.m. Better Healthcare California. Yes, I spoke to someone earlier about needing a live-in to help with my daughter. Oh, yes, I remember. Well, I'm afraid I won't be needing any live-in help after all. We found someone else. Thank you so much. Margaret Smith. Hey, Margaret. It's Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. Listen, I got a call from the nursing home. My grandmother's taken a turn for the worse, so they need me in Santa Barbara to sign some consent forms. She's 92, so I'm going to need to take a few sick days. Oh, all right. I'll let them know. How long do you think you might be out? Could be a few days, maybe longer. I understand. It's tough when they get to be that age. Oh, don't I know it. It's always something. I hope she feels better soon. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Ah, uh, stop worrying. I've done this before. Okay. When? Oh, shut up. Good job, Daddy. <laughs> hey. What do you think? You happy, baby? I sure am. <laughs> I cannot believe they let you out a day early. Yes. I 
think it was my constant begging that did it. <laughs> okay, uh, we have the guest room all fixed up for you. And mom has an interview with a healthcare worker later today. But first, I want to show you something. Yes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we <gasps> What do you think? I love it. <laughs> Can I get you something to drink? Maybe some apple juice? I like that. Okay, sweetie. It's great to be back home. Oh, honey, it's great to have you back home. But right now, Daddy's got to go to work. Okay? See you tonight? See you tonight. See you tonight. See you tonight. You about ready to come inside? Almost. I am getting kind of tired. It's too much too soon. They said you were supposed to stay in bed as much as possible. Mm-hmm. I will be right back. Yes? Hi, I'm Rebecca Taylor. Better Healthcare California sent me over here today for the interview. That's right. Please come in. <sighs> I am sorry, but things have been happening around here so fast lately. Oh, I can come back another time if that's better for you. No, no, we can talk now. In fact, it's good you stopped by. My daughter came home a day early, so she's here now. <laughs> oh, that's good news. Yeah. Oh, here's my resume. Oh. It seems very extensive. <laughs> I guess you've done this many times before. Oh, many. Well, like I told the woman on the phone, Cassie is 10 years old, and she's been pretty banged up. Broke her leg and her collarbone. Dislocated her shoulder, too. Wow. That must have been some accident. Were you driving? I was. Oh. Let me show you around the house. Sorry if things are messy. I just cleaned up Cassie's welcome home decorations. This is the kitchen, obviously. <laughs> I keep it pretty well stocked in case someone wants to cook. Oh, what kind of things do you like to cook? Me? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I'm too busy to be cooking. But we do seem to manage. That's a shame. Oh, about the cooking. I know. I feel guilty, but I really don't have the time. Or the talent. <laughs> oh. Well, talent comes with time. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, it is very important that your daughter follows a healthy diet. But I can handle that. Well, we have about everything you could ask for, except soy products. I have a terrible soy allergy. Soy? That's a tough one to avoid. What do you take for it? I have some antihistamines, but I haven't needed them in a while. And they can interact badly with some of my other medications. Oh, which ones are those? I'm so sorry. I did not mean to pry. It's just my medical training working overtime. Hmm. Uh, let me show you Cassie's room. This is her bedroom. If everything works out, this would be your room. I've converted the guest room for Cassie. Oh. Is she in bed now? No, she's outside on the patio. I think the hospital was making her a little stir crazy. <laughs> would you like to meet her? Absolutely. Uh, come on then. I think she was just getting a little tired right before you got here. Lead the way. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey. Cassie, this is Rebecca Taylor. She's a nurse who specializes in helping kids just like you. Hello, Cassie. Hello. 
You seem very tired. It might just be the medications, but that's why it's dangerous for you to be up for any extended period of time. If she were to fall out of her wheelchair, it could put her right back in the hospital. I'm okay, really. I'm sure you are. Could you show me to her room? Oh, if you don't mind. Uh, uh, it's this way. I got you, sweetheart. Even sitting up can be too much exertion for her at her age after what she went through. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. No one said anything about that. And her pain management meds might have something to do with it as well. But, I mean, how would you know that? You're not a nurse. No. But you are. So, what do you think? Are you interested in the job? I would be very happy to help your daughter recover. She seems like a wonderful child. Great. When can you start? Well, actually, I brought my travel bag with me just in case things worked out. It's in the car. Oh, perfect. Cassie should still be sleeping for a while, and I am desperately needed back at my office to sign some contracts. Uh, maybe you could settle yourself in and get to know her better. Do you mind? No, of course not. No, you run along, and I'll look after her as if she were my own daughter. Is your husband home? What? Your husband. Oh, I couldn't help but notice the photographs, so I just assumed. Uh, no, he's at work. Oh, he's very handsome. A lot of women think so. Mm hmm. He'll be home later. I'll call and let him know about you so he's not surprised to find you here when he comes back. Great. And I'll call the agency and let them know that it all worked out. They'll send you an email with all the contract details later. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Antidepressants. Shocking. Ah, antihistamines. Oops. Mm, let's see. Aspirin. That'll do.
so I took the liberty of laying out the signature pages for you. Oh, thanks. So much has been happening. It's been a day full of surprises, for sure. So, the new live-in? Rebecca Taylor. Yeah? What's she like? Well, she's friendly, well-spoken, uh, about my age. Well, maybe a little younger. Is she attractive? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. I'm just curious. If you're wondering about Tom, don't. He's not drinking the hard stuff these days, and that other business is in the past. We've moved on. Have you? You two still seem kind of disconnected, like you haven't really patched things up after all. We will. It just takes time to learn how to trust someone again, but I will. It's hard getting over an affair. Still makes me feel like I'm not good enough for him. But I'm dealing with it. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna call him and tell him about our new house guest. Sam, look, I, I didn't mean anything by it, okay? I'm sorry I asked. It's just, I care about you, and it seems like you're deliberately trying to bury yourself in work. I know I should spend more time at home, especially now. I just, it just still feels like, well, you know, like it was yesterday. Look, if you and Tom are going to stick it out together, and you know you are, you're gonna have to try a lot harder. Other marriages have had trust issues and they get past them. So can you. Listen, I'm not exactly loving my rental car, so why don't you come by tomorrow morning and pick me up? We can drive in together and you can get a look at her close up. Well, if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, honey. Tom, uh, I'm at my office. I had some contracts that needed signing. Oh, uh, who's, who's with Cassie? Well, that's what I wanted to call you about. After you left, the nurse from the service came for her job interview. And? It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it tonight. But I want you to know that she's at the house now, so don't be surprised when you get there. Her name is Rebecca Taylor. All right, um, what time will you be home tonight? Well, I was going to try to get caught up here, if you don't mind. No, 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 I don't mind. I know that you feel like you've been neglecting your clients for the past week, so... It sure feels good to be back in action, huh? Yeah, it does. It feels good to be able to get things back under control. Mm -hmm. So, I'll see you later? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, pick up Chinese on the way home. Sounds good. But no soy sauce. Never. Bye. Bye. Mrs. Roberts called you about me? She did, yeah. Hmm. So what's all this? Oh, well, I just figured after a difficult day like today, it might be nice to come home to a hot meal. And plus, I figured Cassie's probably sick of hospital food by now. I hope that's OK. I'm sorry. I know I probably should have asked first. Oh, no, no need to apologize. No, I'm very grateful. You know, Sam doesn't cook very much anymore. She'll appreciate it, too. A lot better than uh, Chinese takeout. Oh, well, that'll keep just fine. Chinese food is definitely better after a day in the fridge anyway. That's a fact. 
Sounds like you know your stuff. Well, I've definitely had my fair share of takeout dinners over the years. <laughs> Wine? Um, sure. Why not? tired. I bet you are. I met your nurse. She seems nice. She is, but she's a pill pusher. <laughs> well, it's her job. And she wants to get you back on your feet as soon as possible, so you do everything she says, okay? Good. All right, Cassie, it's time for dinner. It's chicken and rice. I'm sorry if it's a bit bland, but we need to break you in gently. I'm not really that hungry after that big lunch we had. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave the patient to you. Okay. Good. Good night. Oh, and your dinner's on the table. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good night. Are you sure you're not hungry? I'm sorry, Rebecca. I know you worked hard to make this. That's okay, Cassie. You don't need to feel bad. We're friends, right? Right. So don't worry about hurting my feelings. Maybe we can have it for lunch tomorrow. But you do need to take this. No, I don't want to. Take it away. Don't talk to your mother like that. You're not my mother. That's not what I meant. What I meant is, I want you to trust me like you trust your mom, okay? Okay. Okay, now here you go. Come on. Mm -hmm. Now this. Good. Now what do you say we take a picture to celebrate our new friendship? Sure. Okay. up and you'll see just how much better you feel tomorrow okay all right rebecca good night <laughs> Honey, I didn't hear you come in. Well, how could you? Is Cassie okay? Oh, she's fine. She's out like a light. The day really drained her. Yeah, me too. Who cooked dinner? Oh, I did. 
I didn't know Tom was bringing food home, and I wanted to make sure that Cassie had a hot meal before she fell asleep. That's very considerate of you. So, how was your day at the office? <sighs> you know, I'll leave you two alone. It's been a long day. Thanks for the advice. No trouble. Hope the back feels better. I think I'll take that hot shower now. It should help. So, I'm assuming you approve of our new live-in. Mm. She's great. And Cassie loves her. Yeah. You want a glass of wine? I just don't understand what the problem is. You don't understand how it might seem a little inappropriate for our new live-in nurse to be lounging around on her first day here? And drinking with you? Tom, don't be so naive. Well, look, we... She strained her back putting Cassie into bed this afternoon. Okay, and we were sitting around talking about what we what would help. What, what should I have done? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look, what is it that's really bugging you? Uh, is, it, is it the fact that she cooked and that you can't be bothered to do so? Or is it that she's pretty? What is it exactly, Sam? Tom, she's wearing my robe. What? That is ridiculous. Is it? Yes. We'll see. <sighs> I don't understand. Sam, a lot of women own black robes. Is that so hard to believe? I think uh you're confused because you haven't worn your own robe in a long time. You haven't worn anything like that in a long time. You have an answer for everything, don't you? Yes, I do. <sighs> Tom, I'm sorry. I just... What? You're sorry you don't trust me? I'm here alone with a woman for one hour, and you immediately are jumping to conclusions. Sam, we're right back where we started. Please forgive me. <sighs> Sam, why, why don't you just go unwind, okay? I'll do the dishes. All right. <sighs> Tom, I'm sorry. You said that. Thought you were all in for the night. I've always been a bit of a night owl. I could do those in the morning. Oh, no, no, no. You're, uh, you're Cassie's nurse, not the housekeeper. Yeah. Uh, well, I always clean up after my own messes, Tom. And besides, I enjoy looking after other people. It's what I do. Most people, deep down, they just want someone to take care of them. Don't you think? Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess so. But you know, I'm the kind of guy that's used to taking care of himself, so. Well, you let me know if there's ever anything I can do for you. <laughs> it would make me very happy. <laughs> uh, thank you for the offer. I, I, I will, yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll think of something. Men always do. Good night, Tom.
Good morning. Good morning. Wow, well, this kitchen is getting a lot of action since you've been here. Well, Cassie needs a balanced diet. Everyone does. And if no one's going to cook for her, I guess I'll just have to do it. Why don't you sit down? This is almost ready. Uh, no time today. I've got an early meeting. Thanks, though. Oh, um, hey, Tom? Yeah? About last night, I hope you didn't take anything I said the wrong way. No, no, not at all. I'll see you. Well, that's too bad. Oh, good morning, Miss Roberts. I was just about to bring Cassie her breakfast, but there's plenty to go around. Help yourself. Oh, thanks, but I have a special diet, and I'm not really a breakfast person anyway. And please, call me Sam. All right. Well, I made some coffee if you want any. Sam. Hmm. Sleepyhead. I brought you some breakfast. What time is it? It's almost 9.30. Has everyone left? Well, your father's already gone, but your mother's still here. Morning, baby. Are you ready to start your day? I think so. Can we sit outside some today? <sighs> I don't know if that's such a good idea, honey. Please. I think it'll be all right. Maybe for just a little bit. I'll be with her. Well, um, just don't overdo it. Oh, that's my assistant, Karen. We're riding into work together. I'll be right back. Right on time. That's what you pay me for. Ready to go? Almost. Want some coffee? Maybe just a touch. <laughs> so, how's it gonna help working out? I'll tell you about it later. She didn't eat much. She's still waking up some. I'll try again in a bit. Mm. Uh, Rebecca, this is my friend Karen. We work together. What she means is I work for her. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm. All right, should we uh, hit the road? Have a good day. I'm glad things are working out with the new help. This place needs you. She seems perfect so far. Hmm. Except... 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 When I got home yesterday, she was sitting out back wearing a slinky robe, and Tom was out there with her, laughing it up like it was some kind of private party. Maybe I'm just jealous. I mean, Cassie sees more of Rebecca than she does of me, and she's cooking all their meals. I just feel left out, I guess. So you think you're overreacting? Well, am I? I don't know. I don't know, but I could have sworn that I saw that same bracelet she was wearing on someone at the hospital the other day. Maybe it's one of those medical things nurses wear. What does it matter? It doesn't, but it does get me wondering. Maybe she works at the hospital part-time. Maybe she did, but she's working for me now. Lucky you. Yeah. Hi. 
How are you doing? I'm fine. It's not time to go inside yet, is it? Soon. But first, I brought you something. For me? For your birthday. My birthday isn't until next month. Are you sure? Well, then let's just call it an early birthday gift. Go ahead, open it. It's us. It is. I thought you might like it for your nightstand. I'd love it, thank you. Okay, now time for your meds. Why is it always time for my meds? Now, now, now. No arguing. Here you go. Every time I take those, I get sleepy. Well, that's called healing time. Your bones need time to mend. Now, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Swallow it down. There you go. You're such a beautiful girl. So special. Do you have any kids? I do. I have a daughter, and I love her very much. Tell me about her. You know, maybe tomorrow. For now, why don't you just soak up the sun and we'll head inside in a bit. All right. I'm starting to feel a little sleepy anyway. Okay, well, maybe we'll head inside now. Thanks for the ride, but I can take my rental car tomorrow. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I wanted to drive you in today anyway. I bet you did. So can you stick around for a while, or do you have to take off? Mm, I better head out. But I'd like to say hi to Cassie before I split, if that's all right. Of course. Yeah? OK. <sighs> she seems to be sleeping a lot lately. Too much. She's so precious. You and Tom are so blessed to have such a sweet little girl. She's all I ever hoped for. She's what keeps me going. What's that? hoping to spend some time with Cassie, but it looks like I'm too late for that. Yeah. Did you have a good day? It was okay. So, what's with the photo in Cassie's room? The photo? On the nightstand. Oh. <laughs> Yesterday, Cassie asked if we could take a picture together, and I thought it might cheer her up to have a copy. She said she loved it. I'm sorry, did I do something wrong? No, I was just surprised, that's all. I'm glad she likes it. Hmm. You know, I actually think I need to grab some more things from the store. Do you mind if I just run out for a bit? No, of course not. I'm sure I can handle things here. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. She's an angel, isn't she? She is. You're really great with children. Do you have any of your own? I did, but my baby died when she was an infant. Oh. Right after her father ran off. Sorry to hear that. It's OK. We all move on, right? Can I ask you something? 
What's going on in this house between Sam and Tom? I don't know what you mean. Well, there's something very real happening between them. Is he a cheater? I'm sure if they have anything they want to share with you, they will. <laughs> I know it's none of my business. I just hate getting caught in the middle of other people's messes. Then don't. I'll give you this. She's bold. It's all right. I'm just being too sensitive. I don't blame you. Anyway, I better go. See you tomorrow. What, what's the rush? Oh, I just have something I forgot to do. See ya. OK, see you. Can I help you? Yes. Uh, I was here the other day visiting a patient, and I ran into a nurse who was wearing an interesting bracelet. It was black and silver, heart-shaped. I think you were actually talking to her when I asked you for directions the other day. Um, uh -huh. She said she would give me the address to the store so I could buy one like it, but my friend was discharged early, and I never got to come back. Mm. I wish I could help you. Uh I think her name is Rebecca Taylor. Rebecca Taylor. <laughs> no, that name doesn't ring a bell. Do you recognize this woman? That's Margaret Smith. Margaret Smith? Yeah, she's a charge nurse. She's been here for about two years. She's not in right now, some sort of family issue. How long will she be out? She said she might not be back for a week or so. Right. Well, thank you. No trouble. Better Healthcare California, can I help you? Ah, uh, yes, I recommended your service to a friend of mine a few days ago, and you arranged an interview with a live-in named Rebecca Taylor? Yes, I remember. I think she's still available if you're interested. Still available? She's at the house now. Really? Yeah, she started a few days ago. That's very unusual, but some of our nurses do strike side deals without us knowing about it. It's against the rules, but it does happen once in a while. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I hope I didn't get anyone in trouble. Well, I'll have to report it, but I'm sure we can work it out. I'm, I'm just a little surprised. Why is that? Well, Rebecca's been with us for at least 15 years, and this doesn't sound like her. 15 years? How old would you say Miss Taylor is? Oh, I guess she's about 50 years old. 50? Hi, this is Sam. Leave a message. Sam, I'm coming back over to your place. I need to talk to you. Rebecca. Oh, sorry it took me a little longer at the store. The lines were crazy. No problem. How was Cassie today? Well, we sat out in the sun for a little bit, and I think that might have tired her out. But I'll wake her as soon as dinner's ready. She sleeps a lot. Well, that's how healing works. Plenty of rest and don't overexert yourself. Well, 
I'm gonna go change. I'll put a kettle on for a nice cup of tea. Thanks. is everything. Would you mind? Uh, of course. You know, I'm really concerned that Cassie isn't getting enough family interaction. It can't be good that she lays in that dark room for most of the day. Well, I'm only following the prescribed orders for someone who suffered her type of injuries. Surely she can come out and watch TV at night. How could that hurt? She needs her rest. And with all due respect, I am the nurse. You need to trust me. I do. I just... I just want to be able to spend some time with my daughter. You're right. Maybe we can try. Good. I'm sure it'll cheer her up to be able to spend some time with all of us. I couldn't agree more. So, maybe after dinner, <coughs> we can... She'll be okay. I gave her two of Cassie's sedatives, so she won't wake up until tomorrow morning. That was close. Well, food allergies can be a tricky thing, especially soy. It's in more things than you would even think about. I guess she was lucky to have you here. I guess she was. Thank God.
What's this? I just figured you could use a drink after a day like today. <laughs> I promise Sam I wouldn't, but given the circumstances, cheers. Cheers. You've had a lot on your mind lately. It can't be easy. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> talk about what? Whatever's bothering you. I'm a very good listener. <laughs> it's just... I don't think anyone would understand. That's all. I would, Tom. Of all the people in the world. I would understand. Whew. This is, uh, really packs a wallop. <clears throat> Probably should have had something first. Well, <sighs> you can still have something, Tom. You can have me. Morning. Why don't you have a seat? I'll make you some breakfast. Uh, no, thanks. Not hungry. Are you sure? You didn't have anything to eat last night. Yeah, about last night. Listen, I, I love my wife very much. And a few years ago, I made a mistake, one that I'm still trying to make up for. And I, I just can't have this sort of thing in my house. You don't mean that. And besides, nothing happened. I won't say anything if you don't. That's what you want, right? Don't rock the boat. See you tonight. Get it. 
Yes? Hi, is Mrs. Roberts at home? She is, but she's sleeping right now. She's not feeling well. Can I help you with something? Maybe. I'm Mrs. Bateman. I work for Better Healthcare California. I wanted to speak to her about one of our staffers, Rebecca Taylor. Oh, please, come in. Thank you. Is Rebecca here? You know, I haven't seen her this morning, but maybe she's still in her room. Would you like to check? If you don't mind. Not at all. Follow me. Rebecca? Huh. This is her room. Well, I guess she's gone out. I guess so. I wonder why she would do that. Isn't she supposed to be looking after that little girl? Maybe she went out to the store. Do you work for Mrs. Roberts? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Karen, Samantha's assistant. I see. Well, there is something odd going on here, and I'd like to speak to Rebecca. Would it be okay if I waited here for a little while? I'm sure Mrs. Roberts wouldn't mind. <laughs> Thank you. No. Thank you. sleeping, but she should be right as rain by this afternoon. You know, how about we go out for lunch today? Really? Hmm? Are you kidding? Mm -mm. I'd love to. We can go to one of your favorite places. I can't wait. Neither can I. It'll give your mom peace and quiet. She's gonna need it. Yes? Miss Roberts? Yes, can I help you? Can we speak inside? All right. What's this about? It's about a young woman named Karen Mitchell. You know her? Of course, we work together. Why? Someone killed her last evening. What? Oh my God, Karen, but why? What time did you leave work last night? Uh, around 3.30, we left together. She drove me home. A security guard found her in the backseat of her car in a parking garage about five miles from here. Oh God. Her phone log says that she called you just moments before she was killed. Can you tell me what she said? Uh, I would have to get my phone. <sighs> There's no message from Karen or anybody else. Check your deleted message folder. Here it is. Did you delete that? Of course not. But I might know who did. There's no one in there. What? It's 
so yesterday I told you I would tell you all about my daughter today. Please. Well, I was married at a very young age. And when I became pregnant, my husband left, as they sometimes do. And I became very depressed. I didn't know what to do or where to turn. I wanted to go to nursing school, but with my parents gone, I was too young and too broke to face it on my own. That's terrible. It was unbearable. And I was so scared that I did an awful thing. A man approached me at a clinic one day and he offered me money if I would let him place my baby girl with a new family. And it was an awful thing to do. But I did it. And I never stopped regretting. I never stopped hating myself every day for that. And I went away to a hospital for a little bit. And they told me I got better. But people always say that when they want to get rid of you. I never stopped thinking about her, looking for her. What was she like? She was a beautiful little girl with beautiful eyes, just like yours. Okay, enough of this talk. I'm gonna go order our food, okay? Okay. Hi. Hello. Um, I'll take the mac and cheese, two corn dogs, and two ice cream. She's only been here a few days, but I've had my doubts. And now they're both gone. It's Cassie. Where is she? Bird's Cafe. It's not far from here. She doesn't appear to be in any real danger. Are you sure they just didn't go to lunch? Certainly looks like it. Maybe you're jumping to conclusions. Can you please just take me there? I'm sorry, I still have a few more leads to follow up on. and. Looks like things are okay with your daughter. Look, how about you give me a call if you hear anything that can help us find your friend's killer. That's our main priority right now. I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. What are you doing? I just texted my mom a selfie. It might cheer her up. No, 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 straining your eyes right now, okay? You're starting to overexert yourself, and we don't want that. I didn't think it would hurt anything. Well, you don't know that, do you? You know, I think we should just pay the bill and take our lunch with us. What? Really? Yes. I think you've had enough excitement for today, and we don't want to overdo it. We're gonna settle up our bill, and we'll head out. Come on, Tom, answer. Hi, this is Tom. I'm not able to take your call at this time, so you know the routine. Tom, Karen has been killed, and Rebecca and Cassie are gone. I need you to come home right away. Good afternoon, Miss Roberts. H have you seen Cassie today? I have. She was in earlier and ordered her favorite, <sighs> mac and cheese. Oh, was she okay? Well, she looked happy. I know that accident really banged her up, but she looked okay. Do you know where they went? I don't. The lady came in and changed her order to go, paid and left. Is there anything else? Uh, anything at all? Just a credit card receipt. Can I see it? Here it is, Margaret Smith. Margaret Smith? See you at home. Rebecca? Oh, God. 
know. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Where's Cassie? She's sleeping. She's had a very busy day. Oh, and I'll take that. Thank you. How did you get Tom's gun? <laughs> How did I get Tom's gun? I would think you'd be a little bit more concerned about what I plan to do with it. Who the hell are you? I'm Cassie's mother. You're insane. I'm Cassie's mother. <laughs> You're about as much a mother as you are a wife. That is a Tom. You did something to him. You drugged him. Oh. I didn't do anything he didn't want me to. You're crazy. You already said that. What do you want? I want what's mine. I want my little girl back. I should have never given her up for adoption, but they starved me into it. And I want the husband I deserve. I want my own perfect little family. Your family. And I'll have it once you're gone. I know I made a mess of things, but I always clean up my own messes. Listen to me. Cassie's not your daughter. We met her mother. She was a French exchange student. It wasn't you. That's a lie. Everybody lied to me. They lied so they could steal my little girl. But I'm gonna fix all that right now. I can get you some help. Just put the gun down and we'll get someone to help you. You move and I'll kill you. All right. All right. <sighs> Overcome with the grief of being such a lousy mother and discovering that her husband has fallen in love with another better woman. The pathetic excuse for a wife with an antidepressant habit takes her husband's gun and shoots herself with it. A tragic but fitting end for you and a beautiful new beginning for me. Don't do this. I can get you the help you need. But if you do this, there's no turning back. <laughs> well, certainly not for you. But don't worry, Sam. I'll explain to them just how I found you here. I might even shed a tear. God knows I've cried my fair share in life. After 
I left here, I had them run a quick check on Rebecca Taylor. Turns out she had no idea what was going on. They found a parking ticket for Eastside Hospital in Karen's car, which places her there last evening. We talked to some of the folks in charge and came up with the name Margaret Smith. She's the woman who's been posing as Rebecca Taylor. The healthcare agency sent someone out here to check on her, but unfortunately, she became the second victim. She was crazy. She thought Cassie was her daughter, and she tried to kill me. Why? You know, it's too soon to know everything, but we'll figure it out in the next few days. I'm really sorry this happened to you, but it's all over. You're safe now. Detective. Mm-hmm. 